welcome to our channel. My name is Jess, my fiance Noah and I bought this 2004 Chevrolet Collins short bus. It's a 2004 and it runs on gas and we are converting it slowly before our wedding in June. So come check it out. As you can see, we are in a barn because it's Michigan and it's freezing. But this is him. So before I take you inside, I'll show you how we get our lights on on the inside. It's gonna have a little switch up at the front, but for right now, this is what we got. So this is our main power source and then our inverter, which we just turn on, turn on, and then it puts up our lights. So coming into the bus, you'll see that we left the original seat in. That's just purely for ease. We would hope to put one that swivels eventually so we have a little bit more living space as we walk into the entry. You'll see the shower is almost done. I just have to paint that piece of board back there white. And then we're going to put up a piece of shiplap on the top as well and coat that in polyurethane so it doesn't get all water and mold in there. And then we're going to tint that window super dark so obviously people don't see you butt naked in the shower. Um, this is a 32 by 32 inch base. Nora and I put that in ourselves and I did the tiling on it. You can see Max outside. So that's that. So as you can see, with a bun, I'm about six foot, otherwise 5'10". So I got a little bit of room when we get towards the outsides, like in the shower. My head doesn't quite fit under it. As you can see, the shower head is a little bit lower, so we're going to be ducky in the shower, but it's okay. As we come a little further, you see this is the start of our kitchen on the left side, the driver's side. So we have a big pantry right there. I'll try and show you how it opens. So it kind of slides out like that. And then this one, you need a little more finesse to get in. So you just pick it from the bottom and it goes back in. We're going to put a facey on all that yet so it looks pretty. And then coming further back, we'll have the sink right here. We have our plumbing started, just not quite finished yet. And then our oven will go right there. We actually have an oven and a three burner stove that we're getting. And then this is our bed. And underneath there, on the passenger side, is the 50 gallon fresh water tanks. And then on this side, we have all of our solar equipment and batteries. Um, I can get a more in depth tour of that later. And then our water heater is right there. And then actually underneath the bed, it's a mess right now, but. That's how it actually is, so that's the truth. Um, we're gonna have two big dresser drawers underneath there, one for each of us. Not a ton of storage, but we'll make it work. And then above here, we're gonna do upper cabinets as well as all the way across on this kitchen side. And then coming along to the other side is where we'll have our one kitchen cabinet. It will be probably the biggest cabinet in this whole place. And then over both of these will be countertop. This is our cute little dorm fridge. We didn't feel like paying upwards of $1,000 for a little Dometic fridge that ran more on the solar. So we're just going to plug that into the inverter and have it run that way. And then for now, this is Max, my dog's chair, to watch me as I do everything. He likes to be nearby. But we will eventually have a couch built right there with the storage underneath and then custom cushions, of course. And then underneath there is our shoe storage. I'm going to build little cubbies for our shoes underneath that dashboard there. So, yeah. We're going to have our couch have a seat built because we have a lack of space for another seat. So that's just going to be the other seat. And then up here, I did a ton of wire work. So there used to be, I'll put a picture down below, but there used to be a big solar or er, little flat thing that flips down. But I took that all out because I wanted this off for storage. And then I moved all of the wires over to here. So all of these ones over here on this side were actually right here. And that's for most of the stoplights, the blinkers. I don't know what other lights are. The brake lights, the marker lights, all that. Um, I would recommend being a little bit careful. I cut the left turn signal twice. So... I'm a slow learner, obviously, but I think that'll give us a lot more storage up here. Um, our TV, 
Kuru Noel's request is gonna go right here, and then the PS5, of course, makes it in the bus, and I'll go right in a cubby behind there. If you can see the vision, um, I'm going to do, so our countertops are gonna go a little bit above the window, right about here. Look up so you can actually see that. Right about here, the countertops, and then chip lap on this white to kind of open up the whole space, have some little shelves on there, as well as our uppers up there. And then wherever there is an upper cabinet, so like on this side, there's going to be white shiplap going all the way down and then shiplap on both sides of these two half walls. We put those in because our stove is going to go right there and we didn't really feel like having like cooking grease on our sheets as our bed is right there. Um, <clears throat> and then on this side, you can see that two by four goes down a little bit. So we're going to have a shelf that sits on below there and then our bed will come up to here so we're going to have a little flip up in our headboard so it'll be about six to eight inches of space of more storage for theirs for our clothes and then in this little cubby we are building a little box that will fold our laundry bag over and then i'll have a flip up for our dirty laundry in there and then I'm actually going to put wallpaper on the other sides of these. I've got some custom wallpaper that matches our colors to kind of brighten up this space back here, give it a little more pizzazz. And then up here, there'll be a cabinet in that corner, in that corner. And then this is where our split unit is going. So that's heat and air conditioning that runs off of our solar power. Um, the indoor unit, it's kind of wonky right now, but that will go up on there. We're going to build... A bracket to hold it up um, that should work really well it's about a hundred and zero square feet so it should be enough to power it all um, but yeah so I know this is probably pretty cringy but this is our bus and we had people ask you about it so we just wanted to share more about it um, if you have questions or want to know anything more about the build so far um, just let us know and we'll shoot more videos um, stay tuned for more as we obviously do more building and get it going so thanks